Hi. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about genealogy. I just started getting involved in doing some search on uh, my ancestors. Uh, a couple of the, the strains of my ancestors we know quite a bit about. There's quite a bit of research done and they have lots, I know, like my ninth great grandfather on my, uh, my uh, mother's paternal side, the Baden family. Um, we know a lot about uh, the Aylesworth side, which is on my uh, father's side. It was his mother. So we need want to start doing some searching uh, for some of the others and some of the ways, and I'm going to talk about some of the ways that we've done that search. One of the places we search uh, is called Find a Grave. Um, we found lots of, lots of grave sites of our ancestors listed on here. Okay, we've uh, narrowed it down to S. Earhart. Let me just give... Okay, on S. Earhart, it brought up right here. It looks like me, so, but uh, this is actually my great-grandmother, Susan Moyer Earhart. Okay, one of the things we've, we've got is uh, this picture of my ancestors. This is my, uh, like I said, I was looking for Earharts, and this is an Aylesworth family, the family. This is my, grand, uh, my grandfather, Harley Earhart, and his wife, Effie Aylesworth, and this is her mother, Ella Munson Aylesworth from Shreve. So my, one of my cousins found this and gave me this photo. And on the back, I'm going to turn it around here, this was taken circa 1910. This has got all the names of everyone listed on it. So that's a lot of information, too. This is before my father was even born uh, in 1910. My father was born in 1917. So... Okay, another place we found some information is this, There's No Place Like Home, uh, Shreve, Ohio. This is stories of Shreve and the community. Listed in here is um, some information about the Aylesworth family. This was submitted by one of my cousins about their line of the family, but mine continues all the way through here. So this information here in this book that we just showed you talks about the Aylesworth family history. Here's a picture of the Aylesworth family with the stuff on the back, too. So that gave us a lot of information. And from there, then we went and were able to track even further um, over to here. Uh, uh, let me go up here. I'm trying to get to it here. So here now on this page is more information. It says Ellis Aylesworth, but it's about Arthur Aylesworth, which is... Sir Arthur Aylesworth is which it talks about in that book I just showed you how he came from England and landed in what became known as Greenwich, Rhode Island and this list is his children and uh, some of their history which ties directly to the people in the book. Okay starting with uh, that the information we've had we have found another book it was called The History of Wayne County and it goes back to from the pioneer times up to current present. Also in this book it talks about Aylesworth. All right, there's Philip, James, uh, and beyond. And we can turn this. This is really a good resource. I found this and I've downloaded it. This will go page by page. And uh, there's a lot of history, a whole section on Clinton Township, which is Shreve, where our family came from. But it goes all the way through the Aylesworths and my great-grandmother's listed. I have links for uh, this online book, uh, The History of Wayne County, and also this red book that I showed you earlier, and we'll leave the links in the um, below, down below. You'll be able to see those down below the video. Okay, one other spot that uh, I've found history and have been able to locate information and to also provide information is on Ancestry.com. I created my own family tree and this is for me here. See, there's my name, Susan Sprang, with my father, Selden Earhart, we talked about, and my mother's Patricia Bodden. And so if we go into this, I don't know if I can bring up the tree. Okay, here's a family tree that I've put on. I call it the Earhart Bodden tree because it's about me. And uh, Earhart's my father, Bodden was my mother. So you can see I'm down in here somewhere. This is probably me down in here. My brothers and sisters, and it comes up, there's my parents. And it goes up above her parents then to William Biden and Dorothy McFarland and on. And so it goes back further and further and further. And the more information you put in, the more information you'll be able to find. And I will put a link to this again down uh, below, the, uh, below the video. Okay, another place you can search records is in Vital Records. Um, this is a uh, certificate of birth for 
my mother. So it has a lot of information where she was born, uh, her parents' names, so you can go and find that information through birth records. Um, also through death records. This is a certificate of death of my grandmother, my mother's mother. So, and we don't have very much information about her line, the McFarlands, and I want to try and find out more about them. But you can search through death records too. So, Vital Statistics is a good place to, to find things. Um, my grandfather, William Biden, which would be my mother's father, came to America through Ellis Island from England. Uh, so there's naturalization records you can search out too. We know he came to the U.S. on the ship Aquitania into Ellis Island. I have the date for that, so I can go and search those records in Vital Statistics. So those are things that are very important, different places you can find. So uh, those are some of the things, some of the places I've searched family history. Okay, this is uh, another thing. This is on my mother's side, the Baden side. I just wanted to show you. This came from, this was handwritten in one of my ancestors' writing. It lists uh, my great-grandfather, actually that's my great-great-grandfather, and his children on down through my grandfather. Um, and this is a picture of him. This is my, my great-grandfather, actually. But anyway, these are the ones that were, lived in England. This is where my family came from, from Cornwall. So we, we, we have all this information. Okay, this kind of wraps up the, how I found my family history and some of the places I've searched. Now... Where, where you found your information may not have been in the same places, and I would be very interested in hearing some comments from you about how you found your family history. Uh, please leave those comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear them. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do whatever I can to try and try and help, help you, and maybe you can help me out. Um, on our channel, if you like this, like this video, give us, a, give us a thumbs up. I love to see thumbs up on our videos. Um, Lucky Dog Productions. This is Bob's channel and mine, and we do a lot of videos every day. Bob puts a video up. So uh, if you're subscribed, great. If not, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, and uh, there's a little bell there. If you tag that, uh, you'll get notified whenever he puts up a video. So um, this is it for Family Ancestry. Hope you enjoyed the video, and, and we'll see you next time.